Hey guys, get your drinks, get your snacks, get your smoke on if you feel inclined to because I'm about to tell you a story. A story about me being 17, being wild, getting into trouble. This story time took place, it was Memorial Day weekend 2008. When I was a teenager, my parents were really strict on me. You know, I was actually a good kid. I didn't really do anything bad. Like any normal teenager, all I wanted to do was just like hang out with my friends. I didn't even want to do anything wrong. Like I just wanted to like maybe go to the movies, go to the mall, go to my friend's house, hang out. Like normal teenager shit, right? Well, my mom was not having that. She didn't like it. She wanted me to be home. Even if I wanted to leave the house, she's just like, I had to clean something in exchange for my absence. Like, that's just how it was. I have a Mexican mother. If you're Mexican, you can probably relate. I got sick of all that shit. I was so tired of, like, being controlled all the time. So, I started welding out. Um, I started raving when I was 17. I started raving in December of 2007. So, this is May 2008. Uh, I went to this rave. I went with my ex-boyfriend, his name is Chris, he's from the gay ex-boyfriend story, and with two, my other friend, and I'm going to give her a different name because I just don't know if she necessarily wants to be dragged into this story, so I'm going to call her Tiffany. So with my friend Tiffany, she was a little bit older than me, she drove us there. We get to this rave, we pop some pills, some ecstasy pills if you're not aware. She was rolling, she was fucked up, she was feeling good, and me and my boyfriend Chris were not feeling good. Shit that we got was different than what she got, it was bunk. We didn't feel it at all, so we were pretty much sober. But that was fine because I still liked the atmosphere, we're like, whatever, we're just gonna have a good time, hang out. It's around, let's see, it's around 11 o'clock and my phone starts blowing up, and it is my parents. And I'm sure they want me to come home. And I knew I was just gonna get in trouble and I was just like, I'm just gonna stay out because I'm gonna get in trouble no matter what. So I might as well have a good time. It's the end of the rave. My friend's still fucked up. She obviously can't drive us home. So she asked Chris if he'll drive us. But she also had her friend and I don't even remember his name. It was like some raver name. So I'm just gonna make up some crazy raver name. Um, what shall I call him? I'm gonna call him Rainbow Shadow. So Rainbow Shadow needed a ride home and Tiffany said that we could give him a ride home but she asked Chris if he would drive because he was sober. We were going in Glendale and he needed to go to New River which was way north, like north of Phoenix. It was pretty far and there's not really like a lot out there so whatever, we take him home. It's probably like, it's you know, it's in the middle of the night. It's probably like two, two or three in the morning, I don't know. We're driving down this really dark road and we see like a deer like kind of on the side of the road so we slow down. As we're slowing down, the deer decides to run across the street and what happens? We hit the deer. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like. It was wild. So first of all, Chris is in the driver's seat, I'm in the front seat, and Tiffany and Rainbow Shadow are in the back seat. We hit this deer. It was like everything happened in slow motion. It was like a movie. It was like the deer, we hit it, and it's just like, like it just like flipped. It literally flipped in the air and then landed on the side of the road. And we were like, holy shit, what the fuck just happened? Obviously, we stopped the car. The car is fucked. We get out of the car, it's fucked. It's the front end is smashed. Like, I'm surprised this car is not totaled. It honestly probably should have been totaled. What happened with her in her car is like another story that I'm not even gonna tell. Um, this was a, a little Chevy Aveo, which is a very small car. And we get out of the car, we like see what the damage is, and the fucking car catches on fire. And it's on fire, it's not like a huge fire, it's like a small fire, but it's a fire where like the engine is, so it's like, we're like, oh my god, the car is gonna fucking, it's gonna like explode. I mean, we're just thinking the worst, we're young, dumb, we don't even know what the fuck's going on. Driving in New River, there was a fire department that we had passed that was not too far away, so we just actually ran over there 
to try to get some help and we like knocked on the like the fire department doors and windows and like no one came out I mean this is like probably like two or three in the morning it's probably like three in the morning um, no one came out no one helped us and we're like well shit so we're like well, we're just gonna have to call 911 this was probably not a smart decision on my part. I shouldn't have been the person to call 911, but I did. And they were like, okay, we're gonna send the fire department. After I got on the phone, the car had stopped being on fire. It was a small fire, so it was like, it was contained, it was fine. Well, the fire department comes, but they drive right past us. They don't even see us. And we were like, oh, well, what do we do now? Like, we didn't think that they were going to come back for us. At this point, we're just like, oh, well, we're just like, SOL. Like, nothing's going to, whatever. So Rainbow Shadow calls his friends uh, from the house that we were supposed to be taking him to, which was not too far away. We were almost there. He calls his friends. They come pick us up. We go to his house, and it was like this really, like, trashy house. Like, it's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, I remember there was this girl there. She was, like, really trashy. And she's just, like, smoking a cigarette and just, like, ashing the cigarette like on the carpet like like disgusting and she's just like oh y'all we don't if y'all want to smoke cigarettes just go ahead and ash it on the ground we just vacuumed it up later and I'm like okay 911 called me back and they're like well you guys left the scene of an accident like we sent the fire and we're like well they just drove past us and they didn't see us so we just left we didn't know what to do and then I get off of the phone and they're like well the people at this house are like, you need to take your battery out of your phone because the cops are now going to like, they're going to try to find you and they're going to come here and we can't have the cops come here. And I was like freaking out a little bit. So I take the battery out of my phone. Um, the cops, it was too late. The cops do end up showing up there. They're like, well, who's all here at this house? How old are you guys? Everyone needs to come out of the house. So we all do. And because I'm 17, they're like, well, we're going to need to call your parents since you're underage. Like, do your parents know where you are right now? And I'm just like, um, I don't think they know that I'm here, but they know that I'm out. So I'm dumb as shit. And I'm like, well, I'm not calling my mom. So I decided to call one of my other friends and have her pretend to be my mom. I gave her no heads up. And she was my best friend at the time. And I don't know if she probably wants to be named in this story either, so I'm gonna call her a different name. Um call her Leah. I call Leah and I'm like, hey mom, um, I was in a car accident. I'm okay, but the police, they want to talk to you. And she's just like, you fucking bitch. Christian, I can't believe you're about to fucking do this to me. And I'm just like, yeah, here's my mom. And I pass the phone to the cops and the cops, they fucking knew. They're like, this dumb bitch thinks that she can pull one on us. That was not the case. They started asking my mom like questions like, oh, well, I mean, not my mom, like, Leah. They start asking Leah questions and like that my mom should know. And then they ask her, oh, well, what is your social security number? Obviously, she didn't know what that was. And they were about to go look it up, I guess, to see if that was really my mom. They're like, this is not your mom. And I think what Leah ended up doing was she just hung up the phone on them and they're like that. They like looked at me and they're like, that's not your mom. And you're now lying to police officer and you can get in trouble and your friend can get in trouble. And I'm like freaking out at this point. So I had to bite the bullet and I had to call my mom for reals. And she was not happy. And I was like, well, mom, um, I'm in New River. I was in an accident. We hit a deer and the police are here and now they want to talk to you. So they talk to my mom, tell my mom that you know they need her and my dad need to come pick me up. They said that they if they want that they'll take me to the Anthem Police Department and they can pick me up there. I get in the back of the police car. On the way to the fucking Anthem Police Station, we see the deer on the side of the road and they're like Oh, you killed Bambi. Like, bitch, shut up. Like, I'm already, like, freaking out because I already know I'm in mad trouble. I get to the police station. My parents are already there. They're waiting in the parking lot. Don't really say anything to me until we get home. So we get to my house. 
they like sit me down in the living room like my sister's awake and she's like we're six years apart so she was probably like 11 or 12 at this point and they're like we know you've been doing drugs and we want to know how long it's been and I was I don't even know I probably like lied a little bit I don't even really remember what I said I think I was trying to be like what, what are you talking about well I was fucked. The reason why they were blowing me up at 11 telling me I need to come home is because they found a video of me on MySpace with one of my friends. I'm smoking weed in this video, like smoking hella weed. I'm rolling on ecstasy like I'm fucked up. And you can just tell in this video that I'm fucked up. And they freak out, they're yelling at me, I got in trouble, and my little sister was there and she was just, she's crying and she's just saying, I'm supposed to be able to look up to you and you're letting me down. And I felt really bad about that because, like, yeah, I should have been a better example for my little sister, but she didn't quite understand, like, you know. Um, I was grounded. I think they took away my phone. I don't know if they did or not. I got in a lot of trouble. And that was like not the end of all the trouble I've got into. A month after that, 4th of July, okay, 4th of July, I got caught doing drugs again. This time my mom picked me up and I'm like frying balls on acid. So if you guys want to hear that story, let me know. But yeah, that was a crazy ass night. I can't believe that we hit a deer and I got caught doing drugs and. It was, not, it was a fun time, but it wasn't a fun time. And you know what? What's annoying is that, like, I didn't get fucked up at that rave. And that rave was just like, meh. So, like, it wasn't even really worth it. But that's it. That's the end of the story. That's how I got caught doing drugs. And there's a lot more craziness of my life that happened during that time. I, was, I got arrested multiple times. Um, yeah, you know, got caught doing more drugs. And those are stories for other videos if you guys want to hear about it let me know um, if you like the story hit the like button if you you know want to follow me and what I do then subscribe to my channel and if you don't really feel like it then fuck off I don't care I care but I don't care because this is just fun for me yeah let me know what you want to see next I really want to do a giveaway so let me know what kind of things that you would want me to give you like do eyeshadow palettes gift cards, like makeup, because you know I'm mostly like a makeup channel, um, let me know. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!